Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So today we're going to do some uh, immersive engineering stuff in our questing. Uh, last time we did some of the gardening stuff. Uh, can't even think of the darn mod's name right now. Agricraft. And uh, we started learning a bit of the crossbreeding and all that boring stuff. I showed you that we have a mess over here that we're ignoring for now. <laughs> and uh, I think now what we're going to do is we're going to just simply uh, work on some of the uh, items I wanted to work before but we couldn't because I was kind of waiting on certain things now that we have so uh, that's, that's good news for us so let's start working on the wire relays wire relay or actually sorry uh, wire I guess they're called wires I was hoping they had a different name uh, they have a wire relay and then their connectors. Okay, so basically we needed some uh, iron dust and uh, You just have to do four of those so two of those so we need four iron dust and uh, We need some glass and then a couple of So let's get some iron dust going here uh, I'm just trying to think here. Let's get this done and then, uh, yeah, we're going to need iron itself. And then we're going to need four iron dust. Let's grab this iron dust because uh, well, there's two of them here anyways. Uh, where are you, iron? It's like I didn't think I crushed it all down. There you go. So that'll give us the four dust in total. And I got this and the guy in the way. Oh no. I guess you have to uh, get it out of there before you can put it in or oh actually these might not be acceptable. Okay, let's try. Oh yeah, these can't be accepted, so you're gonna have to do one, two, three, four, sorry. So you'll have to take your ingots and pulverize them down again. Talking about that, I don't even know if I got this achievement, to be honest. I kind of want this if I don't. There you go. Okay. And we got our four dust. I guess maybe I did get that before. <laughs> okay. Um, what are we doing here? So we need... Oh, cactus green. I might have left that in one of these chests. Here we go. A couple cactus green. How many in total? Two. So we did all that originally just to get that, but now it's more like, hey, we need that for a lot of things later. So it was all good anyway. So there, there you go. We got that one done. And then the other ones were called connectors. So we can go connector. And we're going to just make the LV and the HV. So the HV, I believe, uses aluminum, actually. And you know what's funny? Uh, I was going to say, do I have aluminum made at all? But we do have aluminum made, thankfully. That would have been embarrassing. Okay, so we got aluminum there. There we go. Could be made another way? What's this one made? Aluminum, aluminum. It's literally the identical recipe. Okay. So there we go. We got the HV one made. And then the LV one it wants which is copper. So we'll get some copper going here. One, two, three. There you go. And that should finish that up. There you go. Do, do, do. And that, my friends, uh, connected relay something. Uh, oh, Mike kind of like lost here with all the other stuff. Okay, so there we go. I got your loot chest, we claim that, and we're done. And then you can work your way through here. So the next one is the capacitors. This one is kind of interesting. Capacitors are definitely worthwhile, uh, I think, uh, in this pack anyways. I usually wouldn't use these capacitors, but I think they can be helpful. And uh, either way, we want to do them anyways because it's a part of the quest. So let's type in the capacitor. There they are. So you got an LV capacitor, MV capacitor, and HV capacitor. The reason they have a set of two is like basically you can spawn the one with f that's full. Um, that and I think it's just basically showing the minimum max. I don't know for sure, but uh, either way, um, you can see what it's made out of. So the first one is made out of lead, uh, copper, all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get rid of you. Uh, 
Uh, I wish I could sort my inventory better, but that's just how things are. Let's get rid of you, 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 you for now. Let's get rid of my random chest thing here for now. Okay. So we're going to get, we're going to probably need a little bit of everything. I'm not f sure, to be honest, but I'm going to get a bit of everything. Uh, so we got steel. We got, uh, I don't know if we'll need gold. We'll need lead for sure. We got the iron. Are we going to need 10? I don't know. We got copper. Okay. And then we're probably going to need, uh, okay, so it's going to want to, it's treated wood. We have treated wood here. Nice. So that should make us an LV capacitor. Boom. So one down. And then the next one is going to be electrum and redstone block. So that's awesome. So here's that. And we can make ourselves a redstone block. Oops. There you go. So that's the MV capacitor. And last one is HV capacitor, which is using steel, aluminum, a block of lead, and redstone again. So we can do our redstone block. A block of lead, which we don't have here, but we probably do have a block of lead. I just assume we just need to get the block of lead itself. There you go. And this should make us an HV capacitor. Unless if we have one ingredient off somewhere. Okay. Oh, the aluminum probably. Do you see the aluminum in my inventory? I do not. So that's probably what it is. Okay. There it is. And aluminum. There you go. And there is another one done. So this one was called the LAMP something capacitors. Uh, so we'll claim our loot if you want. Uh, let's get the end one. And uh, we'll put you in here for now. Yeah, see, it doesn't stack and my inventory tweaks is acting up. There you go. Okay. And then the next one is thermal power. This is probably one of my favorite power methods at uh, the sky blocks anyways. Uh, I think it is. So, so thermal, thermoelectric. So thermoelectric. And it's pretty easy. You want the constant plates which is made by uh it's made by basically here you go copper and nickel you just mix the two and you get that and of course you have your hammer uh itself to uh, pound them into plates and i actually got this material i made a bunch of it before here's nine of it but i should have a lot more there you go it's like i should have a crap ton so i went a little crazy on it before so there you go and the hammer there's a bunch of plates. You you pretty much this is like a really good power source or one of a decent power source. So I'm kind of like one of those people is like just go crazy, have fun with it. Uh, I made a bunch of LVs. There was a reason to that before. Now you kind of get an idea why somebody would make so many of them. And uh, let's see, we got enough to do. There's five in there, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, uh. I want 40, I think. Actually, probably more than that. One, two, three, four. And then you'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That's how much I want in total. Okay. So uh, we want a lot more of those then. We'll fix that up here in a minute. So it requires steel, of course, to do this. So boom. We got six of them done. And uh, we'll get a bunch more of this made up here in a second. There you go. What do we run out of steel? Okay, get more steel going. And of course, you probably want more of this stuff. So it's good we made a bunch of this stuff because it's going to be used. There you go. Oh, oh shit, they automatically made nuggets on me. <laughs> that was an accident. 
thankfully the nuggets don't have to be like melted down or anything crazy, you know, because that would have been annoying. There you go. Oof. Okay. And there you go. I got the 12 of them. And that's the thermal generators. All done. Don't have to worry about the power stuff for that now. And uh, it's a decent amount of power. I, I think it is anyway. So um, I'm thinking like we'll start fresh in a new area. Now basically you want this to... You want this patterned out, uh, so I would recommend something like this. Now, I'm sure there's other people who have way better designs than I have. I'm just doing it a basic checkerboard sort of style. Um, but uh, this is how I've been doing it anyways when I've done these. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I could have done it this way. I kind of derped up because you, you do them compact to begin with, don't you? I think I did it right, actually. Never mind. I did it right. I was thinking at first I might have derped up somewhere, but I don't think I did. And it looks like mobs can't spawn on this, so you don't have to worry about them getting mobified on you. There you go. So you put one there, there, here, 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 and here. So this alone should produce a decent amount of energy from what I can tell. Um, and you could have had one right here, actually. Can I put one there? I guess I could have, and I should have. I think I can. I'm just trying to think in my brain. I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, no. I think I'm going to do it anyways. So let's get one more of these made up. Let's get one more of these made up. There you go. And then you can have your equalness-ish. So you got our MV wire. What about our MV cabling? Oh, yeah, here we go. This is going to be like Christmas Day for us. There you go. There you go. And then basically you can start placing these all over the top of them, but we'll do uh, the lava and everything next. Uh, so this is the, the more tricky part. Um, it's not really tricky. It's just uh, this is the more maybe messier part. I don't even know if that sounds right. Uh, let's go ahead and use this temporarily as a good way to... Something doesn't like going in there to store some of these materials. I want these with me. I just thought this would be a good way of just storing those temporarily while I deal with this. So we're going to want to bring this along with us temporarily. So we can use that. And we're going to want to do the same with water. But you know what? We'll just make an unlimited source maybe. Do it with some gravel or something. And then we're going to want to bring a bucket with us. Here you go. Actually, you're going to want two buckets because we need one for two for the water. Okay, so water, water. And we're just going to hop our way over here. And then uh, let's do this part, shall we? So basically what I'm going to do is make a limited water source here. So uh, boom, 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 boom. And then water and water. And then uh, we can get our unlimited water source. And then we're going to need lava as well here. And then basically we're going to break all this up. It's going to be a bit of a mess. Definitely going to be a bit of a mess. And it's a requirement basically. So don't fall through the holes. <laughs> okay. Go here, here, and here. There you go. So, I have to decide how I'm going to do this. Uh, first of all, let's say this is our first one. So I want one side to water, and I want the other side to be water as well. And then I want two sides to be lava. So you kind of work this as a pattern. Basically, uh, each side, like one will be water, one will be lava, etc. And you kind of just work it out. So uh, there you go. So this gets pretty good power because it got lava, lava and water to cool it down. And it's just like the combining of them that kind of does that. So now when we grab this, we can say, oh, this one has the water already, right? So we're going to want to give it lava and lava, but then you're going to want to give it water right here. So you're going to go over here and grab its water on this side. And then you, you kind of get the idea. So it's like, oh, okay. So we can put, say, lava here. And we can put, you know, uh, you probably put your lavas on the outside on that one. You just you work the pattern basically, as you can tell. So uh, on this side, it would probably be lava if you want, 
and then you know you go back to the water sources and uh, okay it can be a little confusing at times too because it, it is a pattern you want to make sure you're doing it right so you can put water here water here oh crap I broke something here there you go and then uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put water here and then we'll put water here and uh, water here there you go so you get the idea you're trying to get everything to touch this so everywhere you look like each block should have one water touching it one lava touching it and then when you get the outsides they're a little bit more tricky right uh, of course so you gotta make sure you get them too and there you go we got those ones done excellent and then we're gonna work on this so you got your water here your lava here you got your water here or sorry lava here water here And you got your water here and your lava here. And you got your water here and you got your lava here. So put this water down. There you go. So lava, water. So lava and then water. And we can do lava, 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 and then lava, ow, lava, water. So you put your water here, your lava here, and then you put your water here, and is that it? It looks like it. I think we did it. And there you go. And then basically you can keep expanding this over time. And this probably looks crazy looking out here. Let's check out how it looks right now. That's kind of cool. That's actually really cool how it works just so nicely that way. And there you guys have it. So uh, this is our power generation. And then basically all we're going to literally do is be throwing this on here. And you probably don't want to get toasted too much walking on here. But you can walk on them diagonally and everything. And you should be completely safe. Uh, and I think they might have increased the MV cables on this. Or MV cables just in this uh, immersive engineer has just always been powerful. But you just, I kind of daisy chain them like this. And just go from one to the other, to the other, to the other. Eventually, you know, these might produce too much and it's just not worth it. But, oh, crap. There you go. And there you go. And now we have lots of power over here. And then you can use it to power whatever you want, of course. Um, just like before, this should be much more power than what we have over there or what we had over here for power. And uh, basically, this is our new... Uh, power storage system uh, or I shouldn't say power storage but power system and actually a good example of showing you the power would be actually uh, doing something with that so let's do uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this two sticks uh, I'm gonna need a piece of string I had a piece of string didn't I and I lost it there you go a piece of string and two pieces of iron There you go. <laughs> Hema. Okay, and uh, oh yeah, we're gonna get this stuff here. So you get your. Uh, I'll just grab the HV. I think the other two are just too useless for me, really. Um, maybe not, but I'm just gonna do the one. And then basically, what we can do is we can hook up this new system. Say, you know, I'll probably get rid of these chests over time anyway. So let's just say we'll hook it up here. And uh, I could plug it in, say, the back side here. And one of those were connected. There you go. So basically, you have to hammer each side. One is the input. I think that is. Huh. I wonder if it doesn't work because they're flowing. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Huh, something's wrong here with this. I'm going to have to fix this. I don't know what's going on, but this should work. But nothing's working. So that's a disappointment.
Oh. Let's just try this from here to... I'll put it on top just in case, but I don't think that requires it. No. Because I, I forget what, which one it's input, but one of these are input, one of these are output. So no matter what, this should work. But I have a one feeling these half slabs might be in effect, or it might be because the ground isn't solid underneath it. But these should work. I don't think these are wrong in any way. Yeah, so something's wrong. So I'm going to have to play around with it. I have a feeling it might be related to these cobble slabs or because there's nothing under it and it's flowing lava. But it is solid lava, but maybe it doesn't realize that. So it's something I'm going to have to play with and figure out later on. But uh, either way, that should give a lot of power. So next time I'll try to tell you what happened here and uh, let you know uh, what went wrong but uh, either way thank you guys and girls so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see wonderful people next time